Hi, this is Paula from Alanda Craft, and in this video we're going to be creating this sort of effect. This was a request by a reader, Michelle, and so I'm going to show two different ways of creating this sort of effect. Okay, so let's start by selecting a rectangle. So I'll select a square actually, and then I'm going to stretch it out to form a rectangle. And you can resize this however you like, so I'll just go with something like that there. Then I need the text, so I'll come over to the text option, click on it, and then click on the canvas and type in my text. So that's Austin and that's the name of my nephew. So I'm just going to click there and stretch it out from the corner to make it the size I want. So I'm just going to line it up visually here. Now you could center it using the centering options, but I'm just going to place it how I think it would look the best. Okay, so that's something like that. Okay, so now what we want to do is highlight both of these things. So I'm going to click and drag from the corner just to select everything. And then right click and select the duplicate option. Okay, so now we've got two versions of this. So I'll drag that one down and we'll work with this top one. So what we want to do now is click and drag to highlight that top one. And come over to the edit menu here. Click on that. And we want to come down to Process Overlap. And the option we want here is the Remove Overlap, the third one over. So I'm going to select that. And now if I click away and just drag this piece down, that's the bit we want to keep. We don't need this bit here, so I'm going to click on it and press the Delete key. Okay, so that's the bottom part of our text here. Now we need the top part of the text. So with this version down here, I'm going to click and drag to highlight it all. Just move it up a bit. So once it's all selected, coming down to process overlap again, and this time I'm going to select the divide option, which is the second one over. Let's click on that and click on the canvas. Okay, now I can drag that bottom part away. We don't need it because we've already got it up the top here. You notice that they're different, which is why I haven't used this version. You see the U here that's missing the parts of the the text here so that's why I haven't done it that way so we delete this one and we can delete all of the bottom parts I'm just going to click drag with my mouse so everything gets selected and press the delete key and you can see I've got some extra bits here so I'm going to click on that delete click on that delete all right so we've got our text for the top but these are all loose all right so they're all on their own so what we need to do is group them so I'm just going to click drag and then group and this will allow us to keep everything together so we can move them around in one piece so that's the top of our text that's the bottom of our text so we can line them up now the top part I'm going to click on that and I'm going to fill it with the color because you can see here when we come back to here the top is black and the bottom part is black the text is white here but the top is is um, black so let's click on that come over to properties from the menu option there and then select the fill option and I'm going to select black click on there and that's selected and I'm going to do the same with the bottom click there fill and select the black and there you go so that now is what we're seeing here and what you do when you're cutting you just separate these out so you'd be cutting that and that on the same sort of black sort of fabric or whatever you might be using paper stock cardstock vinyl and that's what you'll you'll be getting all right, so that's version one. Okay, so let's take a look at version two. So I'm going to come over back to the shapes again, choose a square and do the same thing. I'm going to create a rectangle and then I'm going to type my text in. So I'll come over to the T and click on the screen and type in my word. And then click on it and drag from the corner to place it again. And again, place it around. This might take a bit of tweaking to get things right for you, but it's just a matter of just playing around with it. Okay, I've got it in the position I want, and again, I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to highlight everything and right click and duplicate. So I've got two versions again. Okay, now with the first one here, I'm going to highlight everything, come back to edit, and this time I'm going to select weld. Okay, so now you can see in this version we get the top part of the text stays as the main piece. 
Okay, so but down here, what we're going to do again is select everything. And for this, we're going to click Divide. Alright, so we only need the bottom part of this text. So I'm going to click away. I'm going to click and drag just to highlight the top part because I want to get rid of all of that. Also want to get rid of this rectangle. So I'm going to click and drag it down and click to delete it. And now you can see we've got the bottom of the text left, which is what we want. But if you notice, you can see some, the, the line here is gray, but the lines around here are black. You can see some of these are darker for some reason. The reason why they're, they're darker is because they've got double lines. If I click there and drag out, you can see how that's sort of a double sort of um, shape there. It doesn't need to be there if I'm going to click there and drag it out and click there and drag it out. So just be aware of that. You don't want these odd little bits sitting in there. Okay, now again, I need to group all of this. So I'm going to click and drag to highlight everything. Then right click and group. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these with a color. I'll fill this top one with black. So let's fill that top one with black. And then I'm going to fill this bottom one with white. Just close that. Fill it with white. Okay, and then I'm going to drag this up over the top there and there you go so that achieves the same effect so it just depends which way you want to go here so in this way you'll be getting this sort of as a cutting file and then this these bits here as their own sort of different that'll be done on a different color you'd be cutting that out on white and this one you'd be cutting out on black so that but it still achieves the same effect so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching